What's up DIY Solar Crew? Today we're kicking off a three-part series on the EG4 12K BTU Solar Hybrid Mini Split, as we see right here. And I have to say, this might be one of the most exciting off-grid upgrades that we've covered in a while on the channel. Signature Solar sent this unit out for us to check out. And over the next few videos, we're gonna be diving deep into this unit. In the first episode, we're unboxing it. We're checking out the build quality. We're going over why this is such a big deal for off-grid, shed to house, and hybrid setups. Let's crack it open. First impressions, the packaging is solid. Everything is foam wrapped and incredibly protected. You can tell EG4 has shipped a lot of these without issues. Here's what's inside. The indoor air handler, clean design, smooth finish, and really simple and minimal. The outdoor condenser unit, it's sturdy, has a metal housing, and it's well protected around the coils and the fan shroud. Then the remote control, simple. That's it, it's simple. It has a simple layout and yep, the batteries are included. Now let's talk about the connections. Pre-flared copper line set and wiring harness. Uh, it's a decent length for most installs and a quick start guide. I love it. They include a quick start guide inside. Now, you will need your own disconnect box. Something like the AC disconnect from Home Depot works just fine. And for our install, we picked up a wall mounting bracket for the outdoor condenser from Signature Solar. Now, here's where this unit really shines. Uh, solar hybrid functionality. It can run directly off of your solar panels. Grab that. During the day, no problem. Let the sun pay your electric bill. No inverter, no battery. Bam. Now, just solar in and air conditioning out. How wild is that? And when the sun goes down, not to worry. It automatically switches over to the battery bank and inverter. Now, if you're on the grid, it'll switch over to your grid connection. Uh, if you're on a generator, you can simply turn the generator and it will run the unit. So plenty of options there. The flexibility makes this unit perfect for hybrid systems or fully off-grid homes. What do you get? Well, direct solar operation, no batteries required, auto switching to inverter, battery, grid, or generator at night. And catch this, the SEER rating is over 21. This is for serious efficiency. And at 12,000 BTUs, it's perfect for spaces between four and 600 square feet. That SEER rating means it really sips power. It's ideal for off-grid setups where every watt counts. As for the build quality, it's solid guys. The metal chassis feels sturdy. The coil fins are well protected and the wiring is labeled very cleanly. Not industrial grade, but absolutely reliable for residential or homestead use. Oh, and if you're already looking at picking up this unit or other gear at Signature Solar, well, $50 off is yours with the exclusive coupon code in the description below. So who is this for? This unit fits three types of off-grid setups perfectly. The first, tiny homes. Pair it with six to eight 400 watt panels and a modest battery bank. And you've got cooling day and night. Second, uh, the weekend workshop, the man cave. Run it on solar during the day, then switch it to a generator at night if needed. And third, the guest sheds or even the Airbnbs. Keep your guests cool without adding a load to your main system. And if you're using an inverter like a GrowWatt, a Solark, or even an EG4 inverter like we do here on the homestead, this AC integrates cleanly into your system. Before we wrap up, there are a few things we should know about this unit that really make it stand out. First, this is more than just an air conditioner. It's actually a heat pump. 
which means it also provides efficient heating in the colder months. So whether it's summer or winter, this unit handles both, making it a great year-round solution for off-grid living. Next, let's talk about BTUs, British Thermal Units. This unit delivers 12,000 BTUs, which is ideal for spaces around 500 to 650 square feet. Think of it like a, a garage or workshop, a small cabin, or even a, a guest studio. If your space falls in that range, this system should keep you comfortable in most climates. Now, we mentioned earlier that it's rated over 21 on the SEER 2 scale. That's the latest standard as of 2023. SEER 2 uses more realistic testing conditions, so while the numbers may be a little lower than the old SEER ratings, they give you a much more accurate picture of real world energy efficiency. And with a SEER 2 rating of 22, this unit ranks among the best in its class. You're also getting built-in Wi-Fi. That's right. Just download the solar app on your phone and you can control the temperature, the fan speed, and even monitor the energy usage from anywhere. Whether you're pre-cooling a shed before you get there or adjusting temps in an Airbnb remotely, it's a real upgrade in convenience. We'll walk you through how to set it up in video two. And here's something I love. This unit is DIY friendly. Thanks to EG4's amazing design, you don't need to vacuum the refrigerant lines or hire an HVAC technician. The refrigerant comes pre-charged and the quick connect lines make installation simple. It's designed with solar DIYers in mind. Now, just to be upfront, there are a few things not included in this box that you'll want to grab ahead of time. A disconnect box, an outdoor mounting bracket available at EG4, or a pad if you're gonna place it on ground, and of course, your solar panels and wiring if you plan to run it in hybrid solar mode. We'll walk you through all of that in the install video coming up next. In our next video, we'll show you the full install process from mounting both the indoor and outdoor units to wiring the solar input and connecting it to your inverter or AC panel. We'll also cover a few tips that can save you time and a whole lot of hassles. Then in part three, we'll run real world power tests that are gonna show actual energy usage. And we're gonna put it through its paces and the overnight off-grid run on just battery power through our inverter. Spoiler alert, it holds up impressively. So let's hear it. What does your off-grid setup look like? Drop a comment below. Are you running on solar only? Are you mixing in some batteries or keeping a grid connection as a backup? You can also vote in our community screen poll on our community tab. We'd love to see you there. And if you found this helpful, hit the like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on the next two episodes. Thanks again to Signature Solar for sending this unit out for review. And don't forget to grab the $50 coupon code in the description below if you're ready to order any product from Signature Solar. We've got a lot more solar gear to explore. We'll see you in the next video.